Heather Veach is spreading the word of God by helping other dancers, porn stars, and sex addicts find Jesus. The founder of JC's Girls, a biblically-based Christian ministry, they're reaching out to the sex industry by touring strip clubs in California, then paying for private dances to convince performers to convert to Christianity. So far, the six-month-old ministry has encouraged several strippers to attend church. Joining us now, ex-stripper, stripper, former, now the founder of JC's Girls, Heather Veach, joins us. Hey, Heather, uh, welcome to the program. Hi. Hi, uh, thank you. How long we, were you involved in that line of work? How long did you do that? I was a dancer for six years. Yeah. And at the time, I read that you were drinking a lot, weren't living the lifestyle. What made you change? Um, you know, I think it was just an accumulation of things. At, at one point, um, one thing led to another, and my life just started getting worse and worse. And uh, the millennium was coming up, and it was 1999, and I knew I needed to start trying to make a change and pull out of that life. So I, I went into beauty school at that point on. Yeah. And, um, and from then, I, I just started working my way out of the industry. So by the millennium, I was done. All right. Let's talk about what you do with, with these partners of yours. You go literally yeah. into strip clubs. You pay yes, for private do. dances. What you usually refer to, and not from personal experience, by the way, as a lap dance, but you, you spend time talking to the girls, correct? Yes, we do. We Basically, what we do is we go in um, as a team of women, and we all pick out a girl. We ask that girl for a private dance, and from that point on, we take her to the, to the back, to the booth, and we tell them, you know what, here's, here's your money because we know this is their job. And then we ask them if we could speak to them. And from that point on, we let them know there's nothing they've ever done that God would not forgive them for. What's the and reaction? Then, um, so far, it's been pretty good. We've had, you know, either a, a real blank stare of a girl just saying, I can't believe this is happening, or someone that says, you know yeah. what, thank you so much. I can't believe you would let me, let, their own money to tell me this. Let me ask you this. It seems that our society is so sexually charged. You yes. know, it's like we're, we're, we're robbing our children of their innocence, where we're over sexualizing them at younger and younger ages. You see, you know, rampant infidelity, you see rampant uh, sexual abuse. What, what do you think, having come from that industry now from a religious perspective, what do you, uh, why is that? What is, what is your insight into that? You know, I, I, what I, my take on it right now is that I think in America we don't have a healthy view of sex. I think what's being portrayed is constantly, um, and uh, you know, it's it's sex out of marriage. It's everybody that's having all this great sex and great fun aren't married. Hey, Heather, and it's I Alan. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, when you these women have to be very surprised uh, when you. They think you're buying a lap dance, and then you start talking about Jesus. I mean, do they say, you know, either you're being presumptuous or get out of my face? Do you ever get the kind of negative no, reaction? No, at this point, no. You know, I tell a lot of people they think that we're going to get this big negative reaction, but it's a lot easier to make $20 with a, with a girl talking to you than actually sitting on a man's lap with all your clothes How many people off? have you converted? And we have, well, what, what we're asking them is not for them to convert right there on the spot. What we ask them is if they would start a relationship with God. Do you want to try going to church? Do you want to see what it's even like to go to church? So at this point, we have girls in our church. Um, I, can't, I can't keep account of what's going on around the country. Can you country be a stripper and a website. believer at the same time? Um, my answer to that usually is can you be a glutton and a believer at the same time? Can you be a liar and a believer at the same time? Yes, you can believe in God and be a sinner at the same time. Okay. You can, don't you have to give up the sin, though? I and think The word repentance to is to on, change your I, heart, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I think absolutely everybody needs to um, okay. repent and, and start giving up their sins. You know, right, I Heather. definitely am not in support of living a life in sin, but I do believe that you can... We've got to run. Thank you, Heather. All the God. best to you.